Welcome to Canadian Pacific's guide to operating the high stand tabletop horizontal throw switch. Prior to operating the switch, conduct stretch, flex, and prevent exercises using the appropriate movement safety guidelines. The first part of this guide is a start to finish run through of operating the switch. Begin with a track inspection to ensure that the tracks are clear of employees or other equipment. Always look both ways before fouling the track. Inspect the switch rods and points for anything that may prevent the switch from lining freely. Finally, check if the switch has been spiked. Next, remove the keeper and or lock. Keep your body, hands and feet clear and away of moving parts. Grasp the handle with an open-handed grip and raise it to a horizontal position. Reposition your body to prepare to pull the switch handle. Once you are in a stable position, pull the handle to line the switch and then push the handle down into the retaining notch. Reapply the switch lock or keeper after the switch is lined. Conduct a final visual sweep of the points before leaving the area of the switch. Ensure the switch points are tight to the stock rail prior to allowing a movement to pass. Remember, lined, locked and checked. If the switch gets stuck or stops abruptly while operating, do not force or overexert. Recheck the switch for debris, ice and snow in the switch points, and then retry. If the switch still cannot be lined, tag out, lock and report the switch. The next section of this video is a review of the key safety and musculoskeletal injury prevention principles related to operating the tabletop switch. Check the environment at and around the switch and switch stand looking for potential risk factors associated with the safe operation of the switch. Ensure adjacent and intended tracks are clear of employees, conflicting movement of rail cars, locomotives or track equipment. Maintain at least 30 feet between the leading end of movement and the switch points in order to help keep the stock rail and points at the same level, reducing resistance when operating the switch. Inspect the switch rods and points for debris, ballast, ice and snow buildup, or anything that may prevent the switch from lining freely. Debris or clean ice and snow as required to eliminate unexpected forces when operating the switch. Finally, check if the switch has been spiked. Observe the switch and switch stand looking for potential risk factors associated with operating the switch. Get your body in a comfortable position to operate the switch. Keep your body, hands and feet clear and away of all moving parts related to the switch operation. Snow and ice, uneven ballast, wet ties and debris are hazards that increase your risk of a slip or trip while operating the switch. As well, always be aware of walking conditions and changes in the weather. Never use excessive force or your feet to attempt to line a switch. Always report problem switches to your supervisor immediately. Remove the switch point lock pedal the lock or keeper prior to operating. Expect the switch to suddenly operate easily or stiffly. Remember to watch for spring action when lifting handles. Lift the switch handle to the horizontal position by palming the handle upward. Protect your thumb by making sure that your thumb does not wrap around the handle. Ease the switch handle over the table until you are sure the switch points move freely. Reposition your body to prepare to pull the switch handle. Make sure that you have a wide base of support and firm footing. Ensure that your center of gravity stays between your base of support during the pulling motion. Check that your hips and shoulders are behind the line of pull. Maintain a neutral posture of the spine and keep your head and chest up. With this good body position and footing, pull the handle toward you in stages with a steady, even effort. Adjust your body position and footing as required. When near the end of the table, reposition your body to pull the switch the rest of the way and push the handle down into the opposite retaining notch. If the switch gets stuck or stops abruptly while operating, do not force or overexert. Recheck the switch for debris, ice and snow in the switch points and then retry. If there are no obstructions and the switch still will not move, tag out, lock and report the switch. Conduct a final visual sweep of the points before leaving the area of the switch. Ensure the switch points are tight to the stock rail prior to allowing rail equipment to pass. For all switches, always remember, lined, locked, and checked. This concludes the guide to operating the high stand tabletop horizontal throw switch.